Akinde's book meant to destabilize Southwest, says Body Judge. Hello, my wonderful people. If you've been following us of late, you will know that since uh, BC Akinde released the book, it has turned from 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 battle left. I mean, he has done more atrocities than right with regards to this book he has written. You know, uh, BC Akinde is the same person who is now a pal to President Muhammadu Buhari. Some time ago, they were, you know, sworn enemies. Okay, sworn enemies because you see, uh, Buhari was the one who said Akinde, you know, put Akinde in prison, uh, supposedly for 44 years. Why? For, for, for you know, uh, misappropriation of funds. The same people now are saying that, oh, they are the, he's one of the most um, trustworthy persons. So what do you see? Birds of a feather, what do they do? They flock together. So this is what is going on now. These people you see, they are all the same, okay? To a large extent, they do things in the same way, in the same van. And this is the same person who has come out to say now that, um, you know, President Muhammadu Buhari is now, uh, both of them are praising themselves as good fellows. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Akinde's book meant to destabilize the Southwest, says Body George. Narrates how Akinde ran to Obasanjo for help during the Ife Mudakeke War. Talks about the Electoral Act remains our last opportunity to rebuild Nigeria. Chief Olabodi George in the for, the, is the former Deputy National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. In his interview, he spoke on the recent book and the and the issues of what has been going on in PDP in Lagos, the back and the front over the autobiography of the former Oshun State Governor, Chief BC Akinde, among other issues. We welcome a new influx of massive decamp from the crumbling APC led by Abdul Reziz popularly called Jade and his followers who have decided to abandon the sinking ship of the APC for a renowned, energized, innovative, forward-thinking PDP. Let, us, let it be known that by all as sundry that the strength of the political party resides pre precisely in the population, the more the merrier. A good political party does not turn people away. Let's embrace everyone who can contribute to the progress of the party. How do you intend to manage relationship between new members and former members? For us, for those of us who are already in the People Democratic Party in Lagos, we let us welcome the new entries with warm, open arms. They are coming to add value to our party. We know who the enemy is. We know those who are who are disposing of the, of the riches of the state instead of uh, instead of equipping the people. We know the man who is carrying away nine billion every thirty days from the collective strength of the people of the state. There is no need for unnecessary enmity. We know who the enemy is. There is no need to feel threatened about new members. We are working together to achieve a single purpose and plan. The book Akinde just released is a book to destabilize the Southwest and to put people asunder. He has not even come out to explain to Nigerians what he really mean by some of the things he said. Nigerians must do well to know who the enemy really is. So this is a body judge who says, you know what, in my opinion, I feel strongly that the book of Akinde was meant to commit more harm than good. Okay, it means no well, it means no good for the people. His book means no well for the people at all. So this is why Nigerians are wondering and are asking, uh, so what's the way forward? If, you know, if things are like this, what do you, what do you think will be the next, you know, the next thing to do? 
you know, Chase BC released the book and since the book was released, you know, it has caused more controversies than good. The book has not done anything worthwhile. It's been controversies upon controversies. You know, he said uh, uh, Tinubu built a house for somebody in, you know, in, in Lekki, blah, 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 blah. And nobody has been able to, you know, uh, he has not come out to set the record straight. Everybody has been asking him, what do you mean by, you know, uh, he built a house. Is that true? You know, but, but like Bola Tinubu, just Bola Tinubu is, is a mirror image of Buhari, if you ask me. You know, in some decisions he has taken and what have you. In fact, he mirrors Buhari in no small way. And this is another Buhari again, so to speak, so to say, to become Nigerian's president. So when you look at it very closely, you look at it very well. Where are we all in the scheme of things? What are we saying? And how do we come out of, you know, oppression and all the things that are currently ongoing? Because the truth of the matter is every one of us have got a, uh, a sense of responsibility and duty to ensure that um, we defend the truth. There are real issues going on and people are expecting, you know, uh, people are expecting Tinubu to say a word. Even when the, the walls are coming, cracking down, you will not hear Tinubu say a word. He will rather be silent. And that is a mirror image of what, you know, of what uh, Buhari does. The whole world was in disarray. Nations of the world, people were speaking to their people, understanding what was going on. But guess what? Not Tinubu and not Buhari. Buhari never, in fact, Femi Adesino was asking Nigerians if to, uh, that, they don't, that Buhari does not have to speak to them. Uh, what are they expecting Buhari to say? I mean, people... Governors, governments of the world, we are updating their people per second, per second of issues and things going on. But in Nigeria, it was a different ball game altogether. You ask Buhari to speak, they said you have asked for too much. You ask Buhari to, you know, to speak into the current situation and you become the new target. So when you look at it, there are, you know, are we, are we going to be having a repeat of the same thing? Or are we going to be having transformation? It is what we should do. We must ensure that, you know, we all come out and speak out against oppression and evil occurrences ongoing. Because if we don't, then we leave things to chance. And guess what? These people are not joking. They are ready to do and undo. They are ready to go at any length, at anywhere possible to ensure that they have their own, you know, their own perspective, their own, you know, inf influence on Nigerians at all means possible. So there we have it. So the truth of the matter is every one of us have gone to speak out. Every one of us have got a duty in this matter and nobody must be quiet and allow these people to have a field day. We must be resolute in our decision. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.